Hey guys, and welcome to my new Let's Play project. Because you people really want more Harvest Moon. Welcome to Let's Play Harvest Moon A New Beginning. Probably one of my f more favorite Harvest Moon games of recent memory. Honestly, there haven't been a lot of good Harvest Moon games since, like, Magical Melody. But A New Beginning actually surprised me with how much how different it is from other Harvest Moon games. In a good way, though. It's also really pretty. At least this cutscene is. But yeah, there... I also decided to do a new beginning because it actually has an ending. And I learned from friends of Mineral Town not to do a game that doesn't have an ending. Just because it kind of just goes on and on. There's actually a lot- there's actually a sense of, pro of progression in this game. Also, new cow designs. Not sure why they have hair. Or why they look so derpy, but they do. Anyways, let's start a new game. Obviously, I'm a boy. That's pretty obvious. Also, we get to make our character for the first time. Uh, let's see, what color- oh, whoa! Kind of just blends in with the background there. Let's see, that's not bad. And then, let's just go with normal skin. No. Normal eyes. We'll just go with normal everything for the most part. I like the hat. Everything else looks- everything else looks okay for the most part. Except for like, that and that. That makes him look like a girl. We're just gonna go with the hat. I just like hats on Harvest Moon game in Harvest Moon. Uh, black hair looks good. Blonde isn't bad either. Green hair, nah. We're not gonna go with the anime hair. Just go with black hair. And let's see. Ooh, red eyes. That, that no. Uh, dark green looks good. Alright, let's see, we have normal clothes, or no, we're not, we're not, we're not, no. Normal clothes is fine. Those work clothes just look... ugly. Uh, Summer 3 is my birthday, like always. And don't use anything that might make people uncomfortable, blah, 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 I will not. Alright, let's see, let's just put my name in. There we go. Pretty easy. If you don't, if, if you have trouble putting in your name, you might want to stop playing video games. Just saying. Anyways, we're moving to Echo Village. It's a little town in the mountains, kind of like Mineral Town actually. Except for one big difference, which we'll see soon enough. And here we are, really excited about the scenery. Especially that stump. Huh. That's not normal. Also hearing weird voices also isn't normal. Okay, I'll do whatever you say, weird voice in my head. Yeah, yeah, moving and talking. Basically, you can move around. You can also jump with the B button. I don't know why this amuses me so much, but it does. Anyways, let's just talk to this guy then. He looks like he might need a bit of help. So let's just give him some water. Hey buddy, you okay there? Oh, whoa, one second. Well, that was weird. Things just kind of went crazy for a second there. No, how dare you call me that? I'm leaving. Oh, hi, Mr. Dunhill. He's going to be kind of important in the near future. What? 
Wait, what? No, I'm not gonna be your slave. I'm here to run a farm, silly. So, let's go into town with him. Welcome to Echo Village. It kinda horribly sucks. It's not a really big town. In fact, right now it's only like five houses. Oh, that's kind of sweet of him. Also, he's still alive. Just saying. For once, he's not dead. Alright, let's go to this house for a little while before seeing the farm. We're going to be spending a lot of time on the farm. Also, unfortunately, this game does have kind of a lengthy tutorial at first. They're going to explain everything. Also, we can actually see our stamina in this game for once. I actually really like that. Pretty much hearts equal health. If they go all the way down, you collapse. Collapsing is bad. Don't collapse. Health, honestly, isn't that important. Just sleep. Basically, if you go to sleep, normally you'll have perfect health for the entire game. Actually, no, we, we're fine. Three hearts is actually pretty good for this game. Oh, well, whatever. Let's eat this fried rice. At least I think that's fried rice. It looks like fried rice. Could be com something completely different, though. I don't know. I'm no cook. And finally, we get to see the new farm. Oh, hey, people! Aw, looks like people are leaving the town. Well, there goes our inn. Yeah, that's the thing about Echo Village. Everyone's kind of moved out at this point. That's actually one of the reasons the, fir reasons the first month is really slow. You'll see once we actually get into the game. Yeah. There are, let me see, how many people are living here? Uh, there's him... Four! There are currently four people, not including us, living here. Yeah, we're... we kind of picked a bad place to move to. But it doesn't matter, we have a farm here, and that's what's important. Speaking of the farm, this is it. The house actually looks pretty good. We have a barn. For once, we start off with a barn. No chicken coop, though. Alright, and it shall- oh, six letters. Uh, let's see, it'll be LP Farm. Just because I can't think of anything else with only six letters. Yes. It's not- actually, it looks really freaking good. And now he's gonna explain picking I up items. It's really easy, I'll just show it off in a minute. Also, we have camera control. I'm never gonna use it, but we can move the uh, camera with the directional pad. But anyways. 
we should clean up the farm a little. Also, we have control now. First things first, I'm gonna zoom out all the way. Uh, maybe not all the way, that's about good. So, picking up items. Push A, you pick them up. And you automatically put them away. Pretty simple. I'm gonna pick up everything. Also, first rule of a new beginning. Pick up everything and keep it. Don't throw anything away, keep it in storage. Cause you're gonna need a lot of items. Even weeds, you're gonna need a lot of weeds in this game. It's kind of weird like that, but it's really important. Let's get some branches, some rocks, some lag, some flowers, some jumping over fences. I like the jump thing. I don't know why, but I always like it when you can jump in games. Even when it's completely unnecessary. Uh, get some moon drops. Moon drops are also going to be pretty important. Branch. More branch. Let's see, anything else around here I can pick up? Nope, that's it. Oh, wait, there's a rock here. I think that's everything. Is that everything, Mr. Dunhill? Yeah, he's actually giving you a really important hit. Hint. Pick up everything and keep it. Yes, I already know. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me anything. I'm pretty much going to skip as many tutorials as I can. Just because it takes forever for him to explain everything. And I just want to start farming. And this is our house. We actually start off with the kitchen for once. I don't want to use the kitchen that much, but we have it. If you want to cook, which I don't, because I don't cook. Cooking is for pansies. I'm not a pansy. That's a calendar. There's not a lot of festivals in this game. Not at first. That's the bed. Obviously, we sleep in it. We don't have any other clothes to change into yet. Uh, bookshelf. Everything. Basically, all your documents. And our storage stuff. Also, we can redecorate, but not right now. And we save in the menu. We didn't really do much today, but okay. Time for bed. Now get out of my house. Yeah, this first episode is pretty much just going to be a giant tutorial. Hopefully until the second episode where we actually start farming. Also, it's 6 p.m. And we can't leave our house. Fine. Uh, first things first. Yeah, yeah, store stuff. Uh, do we have anything we can put in there? Flowers! I'm gonna drop everything off. Don't want to throw any of it away. Jump. Time for bed. And then we'll sleep for 12 hours, I think. Time for our next tutorial. Fortunately, it doesn't look like the main character is much of a morning person. Honestly, neither am I, but that's beside the point. You're the mailman as a hobby. Okay. Mail is actually pretty important in this game. Especially the newspaper. Pretty much the newspaper tells us about the weather. That's really important in this game. Yes, we shall. Can I read my mail first? No? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll read my mail later.
Anyways, this is Emma and Hannah. They're gonna be pretty important. They're also two of the three characters living in town right now. The eyes. So beady. Yep, that's the general store. We go there to buy stuff. Not that complicated. She has apple pockets. And she's basically the one in charge of shipping everything. Obviously, you drop off your stuff and you get paid in the morning. It's actually really easy to make money in this game. Money is also a lot more important in this game. So, it's pretty much even as as far as a uh, normal in Harvest Moon. No, you don't need to. I, I'll, I can figure it out myself. Don't worry. This is one of the things I don't like about this game. They explain everything. I kind of liked it better in Friends of Mineral Town where they just kind of drop you off in the middle of nowhere and then have you figure everything out yourself. game. You don't, I'm not stupid. You don't have to show me everything. I know how to get around. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to him. On second thought, let's go home. No, alright, fine. We'll go talk to Dunhill. Jumping over fences because it amuses me. Yep, River will be in that area a lot later. Not right now, though. Game, no, you don't have to show me this. I can figure it myself. It's pretty easy to get up there. It's literally around the corner. Also, Dunhill can teleport. Just saying. Now then, let's go up to him. Jump. I don't know why jumping is so mesmerizing. I just like jumping everywhere in this game. Maybe it's because you couldn't do it in other Harvest Moon games. Festival grounds, we'll be going there later. Not right now though. No one lives there anymore. And our final destination, the plaza. Once again, the game's gonna show us exactly how to get there. Let's go talk to Dunhill again. No one lives here yet. They will look later, but not right now. Yeah, right now the town is really sparse. It's basically just a giant field with houses in it. Which, to be fair, can describe a lot of towns. But that's beside the point. Yep, there are uh, areas outside of town which we'll go to later. Not right now, though. Okay, seriously, the, the town isn't that com- oops. The town isn't that complex. Sorry, my computer just freaked out for a second there. All you missed was some panning shots. Let's go talk to him again. Just head down here and go find him. Once again, not very much in the town. This is our last stop. There's literally nothing else to see. Unfortunately, the animal dealer isn't here. We'll meet him later. And we'll get be getting a lot of stuff from him.
Hi, Hannah. We'll be buying stuff from you, too. You'll be selling us most of our seeds. You don't need to show me how to buy. I know how to buy. Please let me play. It's closed on Wednesdays and Sundays. That's actually pretty important to remember. Ten to six. Well, that was pretty simple. Just remember that it's closed on Wednesdays and Sundays. All the stores in this game have different hours. No, no, we are good. We're good. Go home. Are we done now? Alright, bye Dunhill. Okay, let's go to bed. But first, a bit of exploration. Oh. Wait, do we get to play now? I don't think we get to play for real yet, but I think I'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon, a new beginning. Hopefully we actually start farming.